Hey guys, today we have a brand new Minimates for you. Today we have the Marvel Minimates Series 43 Spider-Man and Gene DeWolf from the Gene DeWolf Saga. Yeah! Now this is a two-pack based on the Gene DeWolf storyline, or Death of Gene DeWolf as it is called. And it's basically, I guess, about Spider-Man going into dark times or something like that. I don't know. Anyway. Packaging-wise, you can see there is Spider-Man and Gene DeWolf with the red, kind of bright, vibrant Minimate packaging that was featured on Wave 42. And it's the exact same packaging style other than the Gene DeWolf saga at the top. Oh well. On the side of the box, you can see Gene DeWolf and Spider-Man. Pretty cool. And then on the back, you've got the character roster for this wave. Sin Eater, Gene DeWolf, Aunt May, The Shield Agent, Daredevil, Spider-Man, and J. Jonah Jameson. So, let's begin. Spider-Man! Most of New York City see Spider-Man as a threat or a menace, and the police are no different. While many appreciate the asset, just as many think Spider-Man is no better than the thugs he helps put away. Gene DeWolf. Police Captain DeWolf was one of Spider-Man's few friends on the force, keeping the other cops off his back and occasionally helping him out against super foes. If only Spider-Man had been nearby when he, she needed him the most. First up we have Spider-Man. Now this is a Spider-Man in his black costume. It's pretty basic. Detail-wise, you can see that it is just a plain black figure with Spider-Man detailing all around. You see on the back of the chest, you've got the spider. The front, you've got the spider with some chest detailing. The face is pretty nice, because I'm glad they went with a flat head instead of a mask. Just off a of Peter Parker face. His little gloves. And then some leg detailing. Very nice, very, very nice. And that's about it with Spider-Man. He's pretty basic. Articulation-wise, Spider-Man can do all the normal Minimate things. Since he's just a basic Minimate, he can't really... Do anything else other than the basic stuff. So that's good. Accessory wise, Spider Man comes with a web line. What a shock. And he can hold it. What a shock. Overall, Spider Man is a pretty boring figure, but it is nice. The detailing is nice and all. It's just, I've already got a Spider Man. I've got like Wave 20's black, back in black Spider Man. And he's basically the same figure. So, oh well. Next up we have Gene DeWolf. Now, Gene DeWolf is a character I know literally nothing about. Other than she was a police captain and got shot in the face or something. Apparently. But I have never heard of her other than that. Oh well. She does look interesting though. Detail wise, you can see she's wearing like a black trench coat, or green trench coat, with pockets, pockets are always cool, and a belt, which goes all the way, all the way around, I'm surprised, and it's all green, except for down here, it's a little blacker, or darker, you can see she's got some leggings that are kind of scratched up a little, so it does look kind of off, but oh well, and then you can see she's wearing sandals, does look nice though. Face-wise, you can see she's got a pretty basic white girl face. Very puffy lips, though. That is cool. And you can also see she's got a little bit of purple on her chest. Which is nice, and it actually goes to her neck. That's always a plus. Her head is actually a new piece, obviously. And it is a redhead with a beret. Pretty cool. I'm thinking of maybe trying to make a Resident Evil 1 Jill Valentine out of it. I might not be able to since, I don't know. Oh well. Articulation-wise, Gene DeWolf can do most of the normal Minimate things. Nothing being prohibited except for her feet. Obviously. Accessory-wise, Gene DeWolf comes with two accessories. She comes with a standard-issue Minimate revolver, being her use of the dollars sets, obviously. She can hold it, and it's pretty basic. But it is nice, instead of having a normal boring old pistol, and then she comes with an alternate swap out hand of a badge, which is really nice. I'm glad they included it. It's very shiny. You can actually see there's a bit of detailing. You know? Yeah. And then there's the hand. It's meant for her right hand. So that is pretty cool. 
This is actually a reuse of what would have been the badge included with the Beverly Hills Cop Mini Mate set, but sadly that never got past pre-production. But oh well. She can hold it, and it does look kind of cool. So there you have it. It is a pretty cool accessory, and I'm glad they included it. I've got to say, though, Jean DeWolf is one of the most interesting-looking civilian mini-mates there are. Mainly because of her costume. Like, a lot of civilians are just, oh, I'm going to wear a jacket, or oh, I'm going to wear, like, a bl black suit. This is, like, green trench coat with purple shirt and beret. That's pretty cool. Overall, that was the Marvel Mini Mates Wave 43, Spider-Man and Gene DeWolf. Pretty good two-pack, very basic. It's got a black suit Spider-Man, which, okay. And then it's got Gene DeWolf, which is pretty cool, though I don't think anybody's really going to know who she is. But it is a cool figure nonetheless, and will help out the civilian ranks. Anyway, did you like the video? Well then rate, comment, subscribe, and like, and I'll see you later.